Tonight, the start of a three-game SEC weekend series. And the first pitch from Wagner is a ball low and away. 1-1 pitch. In the air to left field. King retreating back towards the wall and over it. Three-run homer for Mindham. And as it turns out, it doesn't matter what bases they were standing on. They trot home, and the Gamecocks have a 3-0 lead. Given that there was no minor league baseball, that ball is smoked to left field, and the ballpark uh, will not hold it. Connor Tate, fourth homer of the season, eighth of his career, and the Bulldogs are finally on the board here at Foley Field. Hey everyone, Wheels here. I want to remind you all to hit that subscribe button because over 80% of you watching right now are not subbed to the channel. It's completely free and helps me out a lot. Thanks everyone, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. South Carolina, 58-54. Three for three night for McAllister. Bloops that one over the head of the third baseman, and he's got a second double. Wow. Collins, base hit, and it's three to two. Just the second hit for Corey Collins since coming back. Base hit to left field. Gonzalez hits first, he's headed to second. Ball got away from Seitler from a moment out there. And that'll be a stand-up double for Fernando Gonzalez. King, tying run at third, go-ahead run at second. Ben Anderson, number, it's going to squeeze through in the right field. Game tied, here comes Anderson, scores without a throw. Georgia on top, 4-3. On a little two-run bleeder through the infield for Riley King. Now we've got Florida last weekend. Up the middle and going to get by the glove of the second baseman, Wimmer. Pitch to Tate. Bouncer on the infield and it gets by the shortstop. Run's going to score and it's 5-3 Georgia. Khalil let one get right by him and the Bulldogs get an important insurance run here in the box. Hit Harbor goes to second off of Gidry's glove and everybody safe. The tying run is now at first base. Trying to nail it down for Georgia. In the air, that should do it. Harbor says he's got it. He does. Georgia wins 5-3. And the first pitch from Webb is in there for a strike. Watched his average drop close to 20 points last night. Hits this one deep to left field. Back at the wall. And see you later. Parks Harbor just launched. Home run number three, RBI number 11, Georgia with a 1 0 lead. Yeah, really the first mistake we've seen from either pitcher here is Jordan just left that one out over the plate. And this ball is hit in the air towards the gap in center field, right field all the way to the wall and gone. Khalil gave that one a ride. It just kept sailing right on out of here. And George Khalil with his second home run in three games, the seventh of his career, puts the Gamecocks on top two to one. Yeah, I mentioned the weather being a little bit different. I don't think that ball gets out of here. Not last, last night. night. No. Not last night. And that was a uh, well just by happenstance or not. That ball has hit the left field. King goes back and it's gone. Eister just cranked a two-run homer over the left field wall. And the Gamecocks have a 4-1 lead. Home run number six, RBI 20 and 21 for Eister. And South Carolina now has a three-run lead. To even up this series after losing last night 5-3. Ball is smacked to deep right field, heading back, and it is gone over the trees. And another home run, Josiah Seitler knocks it out. Fourth home run of the series for the Gamecocks and their third today. And Carolina now has a 5-1 lead. That ball is hit towards the gap in left center. 
Headed towards second base. Here comes the throw, and Mendham is going to be saved. Not yet appeared in this series. Has four starts on the year. Bounder up the middle. Mendham gets waved around third. Here comes the throw to the plate. It's going to go all the way through. He's safe. Throw down to second, and safe right there. And headed into center field loosely. Here comes the runner around third. He's going to come all the way around and score with the Little League home run. So the Bulldogs get loose on the diamond. And Malone, with a base hit RBI single, ends up scoring, rounding all four bases. Kind of joined the SEC back in the early 90s. Ball hit hard down the third base line. Should be two. Khalil kind of hesitated coming around first, but doesn't matter. Slides in eat into today's finale. One two pitch, hit in the air to right field, going back on the track. Tate has it. Tagging easily is Khalil. He will score. And it's 8 1, South Carolina. E. Rogers, ball four. And it's 8 2. The Kennesaw State game two Tuesdays ago. And he sends this one up the middle for a base hit. One run in. Here comes another. And that's a two run single for Garrett Blaylock in his first plate appearance in close to two weeks, drives in two runs, and it's eight to four. For two against Gardner-Webb on February 28th, little tapper on the infield, and the third baseman, Malone cannot come up with it. Rogers scores, and it's eight to five. So how about Garrett Blaylock? One, two pitch to Tate. Hit in the right field for a base hit. Blaylock scores. Here comes Meadows, and the throw's going to go through. He's going to stop at third, and it's eight to six. Tying run. Now at second. 2-0 pitch on the infield, charging Khalil on the grass, whips it across, and the inning finally comes to a the game. Finds himself in a tight one here. That ball is fair down the third baseline, coming around to score on the play. And it's 9-6 on the RBI double as Eister touches the plate. At that point, after one in the seventh, had an 8-1 lead. Base hit. Mendham scores. Here comes Malone. He will score. Two-run single for Allen. And it is 11-6. Everything was kind of going in Georgia's direction. And South Carolina grabbed that momentum right back. As a and that's out of here. Holy cow. Connor Tate with a rocket shot over the center field wall. Allen just kept going back, going back until he had no more room to go back. And Connor Tate with his second home run of the series, and it's 11-7. Rifles this one to deep left field, and it is gone. Home run number 15, number one in the nation, and Clark Finally sends it over the wall here at Foley Field for the first time this weekend, and it's 13 to 7. And my partner, Jason Jacobs, said between innings, you kind of get the feeling that Clark's getting ready to blast one out of here, and that's exactly what he did, my prophet. One pitch from Carey, and that is hit. One hopper to the second baseman, Wimmer, and South Carolina has defeated Georgia 13-7. First pitch from Cannon is hit into right field. Connor Tate back on the track, right at the wall, and it's gone. First pitch, home run for Brady Allen. Sixth home run of the series for the Sluggin' Gamecocks. An opposite field. Down the line in left field, and a diving attempt and a miss on the hit by Anderson. Anderson touches second, heads to third. Here comes the throw, standing up triple for Ben Anderson. Little tapper on the infield, Malone charges. Here comes Anderson to the plate, the throw, and he's going to be safe. Gutsy base running by Ben Anderson scoring on the putout, and we're tied at one. Cannon 
High fly ball, deep left center field, going back to the wall and gone! Burgess sends it flying. Past the 370 marker out there in left field. And the Gamecocks back on top 2-1 with their seventh home run of the series. 2-2 to Khalil, breaking ball. Hot shot gets by Blaylock. And ricochets in the shallow center field. Where ben Anderson's going to have to race in and pick it up. Ball is hit, deep center field. Anderson tracks it back to the wall and watches it go. Second home run of the inning, second home run of the day for Allen. It's a two-run homer, and the Gamecocks have a 4-1 lead. Here's the one, two. Ball hitting the air to left field. King retreating, going back, and leaps up and makes the grab. Tagging is Clark, and that'll play another run for the Gamecocks, but Riley Geeing just saved several more runs from scoring right there with a great catch in left field. Career start at second base today, the one, two, and that is socked into right field for a base hit. Tate touches second. Blaylock's headed to second, second and third now for the Bulldogs, and nobody out here in the ninth. Payoff pitch. In the air, right field retreating, and on the track and backpedaling. Eister hauls it in, and South Carolina has defeated Georgia 5-1 and uh, snapped a streak of six consecutive Series victories by Georgia in the all-time series and now 6-3 and three in the SEC.